Today, we will be testing the Vervort Smooth Oscillator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on discord lastly if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel you can sign up for our nine dollar patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the Vervort Smooth Oscillator. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 51 different strategies, with 13 of them being profitable, We've also tested a total of 648 indicators, with 261 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. And keep in mind that we test most of these strategies and indicators on the Forex market but they can be applied to just about any market universally. Okay, so today's indicator is the Vervort Smooth Oscillator. And you can see it here on the bottom of the screen. And so this one's a little bit interesting, be a tad bit different than the way we have tested uh, similar ones in the past. So let's see here, let's find our levels. So there is a zero here. Let's go ahead and bump that up a little bit so it's easier to see. And a um, 100 here, we'll bump that one up. So it is also a little bit easier to see. And so uh, like most of the oscillators like this, what we are looking for is when the blue line here, the blue oscillating line, crosses up above or down below one of these dashed lines. So up above this upper one here or down below this lower one here. And so that's kind of the first piece that we are looking for. Then the um, second piece we are looking for uh, will be uh, for the blue line to then cross uh, so if it's, uh, let's say it like this, if the blue line has broke above the upper dashed line, then we are then looking for it to then cross down below the red line. So that's going to be the second piece of the puzzle. If it crosses uh, down below this dashed line here at the bottom, then we're going to look for that blue oscillating line to then cross back up above the red line. So again, that is the second piece of the puzzle. We look for it to break the upper band or the uh, the upper dashed line or the lower dashed line. Then we look for it to cross down um, or across the red line in the appropriate direction. Um, then the very last piece of the puzzle that we are looking for is we are looking for the moment where both the oscillating lines are either pointing down if it was to the upside or up if it was to the downside and so this was specifically uh specifically uh, indicated by the creator of the indicator is that uh, the signal 
um, really comes when both of the lines are either pointing down for short signals or up for long signals. And so let me see if I can give an example. Um, this one's not a wonderful one. Yeah, we'll do this one right here. This is a, a good example right here. So we see we get the blue line crosses up above this dashed line here. Then we see that it comes back down and it crosses back down below the red line here on this one. And you can see if we zoom in here, which I'm going to zoom in a little bit more anyways, <clears throat> so that way all the viewers can see nicely. So we zoom in here at this point. We can see that when that blue line crosses down below uh, the red line there, uh, that we have both of the lines are pointing in a downward direction. And so that would be a, a signal to then go short. If this was reversed and it went to the downside and came back up crossing that red line and so on, then we would look for them to be pointing to the upside. And so uh, an upward kind of trajectory. So that's what we're looking for. And there will be instances even when like right here we get the blue line cross comes back down crosses the red line they are uh, both not pointing down at this moment the red line is pointing up the blue line is pointing down we follow it along keep tracking along and it's still a valid signal at the point that the red line then points down and the blue line is also pointing down that would also be a short so all right this is going to get too long if i keep rambling on about this let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this and we'll kind of look at it as we go along. Alright, so the first signal that we pick up is a short signal right here, right as soon as we start. So we have the blue line that crosses up above the 100 mark, and so you can see the coordinates of it right here. If I hover right there on that candle, it crosses up 100.68261, so it just barely crosses up above that. Then it comes back down, crossing uh, below the red line right here. Red line was not pointing in the downward direction, even though the blue line was. And then you give it about three, uh, two or three candles there, and the red line eventually starts to point its way down. So that would be the short signal right there. We get a little bit of consolidation, a little bit of a push to the downside there, enough to get us to our take profit. So let's go ahead and continue on. All right, second signal, we get across to the upside right here. We get the blue line crosses back down below the red line right here, and they are both pointing in a downward direction right there. Looks like they were both there, but even if we bump it forward one more where it definitely was pointing to the downside there, uh, then we still get a really nice move to the downside there, which gets us to our take profit. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the testing, that way things don't take too long and we'll pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so that's gonna put us at the end right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in selling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, and trading philosophy in general. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested. That comes in an Excel version and a PDF version. And you will get that full list of indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates. 
and you'll get access to an Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested that shows exactly which strategies were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates and links to go back and review those individual strategies. And so there is a lot of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all. I highly recommend it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our indicator here. Hit everything in focus there and there. All right, let's go ahead and count it out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have nine trades all together and we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, six winning trades. And so that will meet the 60% criteria that we were looking for. Um, all in all, it seemed like a pretty solid indicator, a uh, little shy on the trades, only got nine trades out of it. Definitely wish we had more trades. If it could double that number uh, in one year's time, that would be super awesome. Uh, but beyond that, it seemed um, like adding a few of those extra steps, the way the creator indicated it should be used, uh, did really well. Um, they said it's not a great win rate, but it got us to that 60%, uh, definitely and seemed like it only stumbled a few times. Uh, the, the creator of the indicator did say that it could be used for di divergence as well. And so that's where you see like this right here was kind of a divergence type moment. And so, um, yeah, can't win them all. Uh, all in all, like I said, pretty solid. So we will put this one on the yes list and we will move on to the next indicator from here.